ArcGIS Pro, target marketing helps you understand the characteristics of your customers and markets and find more of them. Esri's tapestry segmentation data is used to identify geographies into one of 66 demographically similar segments that make up your customer database. Several geoprocessing tools are optimized to use this data and are available in the Business Analyst Toolbox. These tools power the target marketing wizard. Let's open the wizard from the Business Analyst menu and learn more. Step one of the wizard is to select our profiles, the target profile and the base profile. I have already created my base profile, which is in the San Francisco County market area shown on the map. Next, let's create a target profile of my customers. I select my customer file, choose total households as a segmentation base, and add a volume field of sales per customer. We can quickly view our profile from the catalog pane. Target marketing items are stored here in the Business Analyst folder, and I can conveniently run several target marketing tools from this section. Here we can see a breakdown of our customers. Nearly 30% of all customers, 233 to be exact, are within the laptops and latte segment, and nearly 18% of sales are coming from this segment. All other segments are listed in a similar fashion. With both profiles loaded, I can compare them in step two by configuring my target group. Here I see an interactive four quadrant analysis that assigns customers as segments into targets or the types of customers. This is based on the composition or amount of customers and the index, which could be explained as how much product a customer purchases. 100 is an average index. An index of 105 is five times the typical purchasing average. Customer segment 2A, Urban Chic, has a high composition and a high index. These are part of the core customer target, where I have lots of good customers buying lots of product. Customer 3C, Trendsetters, are part of the developmental customer target. They have a high composition, but low index. This means I also have a lot of these types but they aren't buying much. I may want to grow this segment by increasing advertising resources. The other targets, niche and avoid, don't score very well to warrant any such campaigns. Next, let's map our targets to understand where our customer segments are. There are three map types. The target map shows us if selected geographies are in or out of a selected target. Here, the yellow block shows block groups in the core customer target. The penetration map shows us how much a targeted group of customer segments is penetrating the population of selected boundaries. Red is high. Yellow means only a small percent of core customers make up these zip codes. The target group layer map shows each target by block group. The blue boundaries are my developmental customers. These are the segments I want to grow. If I pan over to the Oakland area, these areas represent populations with the same demographic characteristics as my San Francisco area. If I wanted to find new customers or add a new store, these are the markets that I want to target. To begin a new analysis, start again at the Target Marketing Wizard. Thanks for watching.